everyone. I'm Johnny Chang. On today's US Digi 360, we bring you to San Diego. Growing up in America doesn't always promise the realization of the American dream. And when we think of the three pillars of the American dream, college is the most desired and least attained. About 70% of Americans have their own homes, 85% have health care, but only 30% have a college degree. A group of Zichy volunteers have been working to help American kids achieve their American dream by helping them to go to college. Here's how. My name is Valley Aguilar. I'm 16 years old. I live in Oceanside and I go to Oceanside High School. I'm a sophomore this year. Plan for the future is going, graduating from high school, going, getting, getting my two degrees I really want, my master's degrees and my bachelor's degrees. Sounds like a simple dream, but it's so hard for an Oceanside kid to accomplish. Every year, 600 students graduate from Oceanside High School, but only 100 of them will go to college. One third of the residents in the community don't speak English, and 10% of them are living in poverty. I came from Mexico City when I'm uh, eight years old. So basically, I only got two years in the school. So it's a little. I wanna. I grow, when I grow in, I want to come in something, you know, like. Uh, uh, when my my daughter hopes to do something better. This is not easy for Dahlia. As the oldest daughter of this single parent family, she juggles school and housework. But Dahlia has a plan. She joins Everybody Reads, a free after-school tutoring program sponsored by the Tsuji Foundation. Everybody Reads is a community support program which provides equal academic learning opportunity and free one-on-one -on -one tutoring to children from problematic or low-income families. All the tutors are volunteers from the University of California in San Diego. I've been in here for three years, so I started seventh grade. Dahlia is living with her father. Her father has to find odd jobs in the daytime, including Sunday morning. So really acting as a mother, she's raising her two young brothers herself. At that time, she was in the seventh grade and brought her little brother, Noah. Noah was still wearing a diaper that needed to be changed. When we first met, Noah's entire body was so smelly because he probably wasn't able to speak when he wanted to use the toilet. We helped him wash and change diapers. Dahlia wants to study, but she also has to look after a family. I really love this kid. We have been watching her grow up all these years. I love the program. It helps me a lot with my studies. They, they show me how I could get my grades up, not below, not behind. And I love also, I love the teachers, because they, they express themselves towards the children, showing them what's right, what's wrong, and helping them with the homework. So. Dalia has been growing up with her Everybody Reads program. At first, she was our student, and now she's our CG volunteer. She helps us to take care of the children in this community. I love teaching children and inspiring them with experience, experiencing what they're learning at school and inspiring them what they want to do. She told me that she has seen many tutors, either teaching youth, youth or teaching volunteers, coming to teach in class. Every one of them is very knowledgeable. So she has also made up her mind. She has decided to go to college and get a bachelor's degree. There's two majors that I want to be doing, going to college, possibly, if I could. There's nursing and teaching. I don't want to be far away from my family or from my friends because I'll miss them and I'm not going to enjoy it being at school without them and supporting me and cheering me on. And also there's two, there's three or four colleges I want to go near the Oceanside. I feel that she is very ambitious, so I also encouraged her and said, Dahlia, you come to study. Now you are our CG volunteer. One day you will be able to give back to your own community. The program offers not only general education, but also moral education. After class, the tutors lead students to clean up the playground. Then all the students gather together to listen to one of the tutors read an aphorism to encourage them. Is every little bit of effort now will become the fruits we reap tomorrow. So uh, do you know what this means? Every little bit of effort now, it will benefit you in the future. Finally, all the students line up to thank the tutors for this day's session.
say, I don't know what she do there. I never been there, but she come in society and say, oh, that I learned this, I learned that, and thanks for help her. And uh, hopes in the future is uh, at least it's a sample for the Hispanic people. Three years ago, Dahlia walked into the door of the program, Everybody Reads, with an uncertain hope to improve her academic performance. Now she has a real plan to not only do well in high school, but also go to college, get a master's degree, and even help her own community. People say that education is the cure to poverty, and Dahlia now has the confidence and weapon to conquer the mission. In the future, Everybody Reads hopes there will be more and more Dahlias in the community.